we have this problem with illegal immigration. You know, it's a problem because many of these undocumented people, they, they don't have a social security. So what does that mean? They can't get a, a job legally. So instead, what they do is they get a fake social security. You know, it's you know, surprisingly easy to get. And these people work, they pay their taxes. Some of them get income tax returns at the end of the, the year, but the sad thing is that when they get old, you know, they won't get any of that money back. So they're throwing their money into the government. Second thing is they don't have a driver's license. So, you know, they can't get one. So how are you supposed to drive when you can't even get a license? You know, some undocumented people, they've been driving 11, 20 years without, without a license. You know, whenever they get stopped by a ticket, you know, all that money is going to the government. You know, they're paying their tickets. And it's hard. You know, so many people, they like to, do, you know, portray uh, illegal aliens as, you know, ticks or people who like to rob America our resources. Because who's paying for this? Who's paying for undocumented students to go to public school? Well, all y'all's parents are. Anybody who's paying taxes, they're paying for these kids to go to school. And illegal immigration is a really big problem, but I want to tackle one specific issue here, and that's children. Many undocumented students that are in America right now come at a, around the age of, you know, childhood. They come here at ages three, four, five. You know, they don't have any choice whether they want to come here or not. Every year, around 350,000 students that are undocumented graduate from their high schools. And the sad thing is that some of them don't even go to college. Why? Because as being undocumented, even if you get a degree, you can't work here legally. You can't, you don't have a social security. You don't have your papers. You don't have what you need to get a legal job. So many of them get discouraged and they say, what's the point of going to high school at all? If I can't even work. And let me give you one specific case here. This man right here on the left, Eric Badillo. He's undocumented. He got accepted to Harvard University and he's on a full scholarship from the University Science Fund. Look at him, he looks like a normal guy, there's a suit, talking to one of the staff members at Harvard. You know what the sad thing is? I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have a postgraduate, his postgraduate career, you know, after he graduates, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna live comfortably until he finally fixes his papers. So what is he doing? He's hoping on something. He's hoping that somehow something's gonna be passed that will help him be able to succeed in life. Or else, I mean, it would be pretty sad, right? If he went to Harvard, he does, goes through all of this, and what if he gets deported? I mean, that would suck, wouldn't it? Going through all of that, all that hard work, and for nothing. So what do we do with him and all the 350,000 students that graduate each year from high school? Well, there's one solution, the Dream Act. The Dream Act, is a bill that would allow these students to integrate into our American society and do what they do best, succeed. What are the requirements for Dream Act? It will give you conditional legal status. So you'll be able to be here legally and get a job. The requirements are you have to have good moral character. These people have to you know, not get in trouble with the law. They have to not be caught using drugs or anything. You know, they have to represent a good citizenship skills, good American citizenship skills. They have to enter the America before the age of 16. You know, so show that they've actually grown up here, that they've gone through their childhood here in America. They have resided at least five years, and they graduated from a U.S. high school. And the thing is that if these kids will be able to gain their citizenship if they go through at least two years of college or two years in the military. And these two pathways have been debated because as, I don't know if many of y'all are involved in politics or not, but 
you know, the in government we had two parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. The Republicans, which is you know mostly uh, some of the South, especially Texas, is Republican. They oppose the Dream Act, but they are for this. They are for two years in the military. They don't mind having that. I mean, well, what, what do, they, do they really, you know? It's not that bad. They're not taking up seats in college for legal citizens, aren't they? But the Democrats, what they're trying to do is combine these two, which is what's been hard. And people have been trying to pass this bill on legislation for so long, but it's been very hard. And um, this, this recent, recently, about a month ago, they tried to pass this bill, but it fell short by three votes. And what, what would be the benefits if the Dream Act were to pass? You know, what would the American citizens get out of this? Well, first of all, taxpayer money. Okay, these people, they're going to be American citizens, they're going to be able to be taxed. And the second thing that a lot of people don't realize is that this would be acting as a stimulus, uh, sort of like a stimulus package. How? You know, these people, they're going to get a higher degree. They're going to be able to buy, you know, expensive stuff. I mean, you go to college, you earn your degree, you get a nice job, 50000 60000 a year, 80000 What are you going to do? You're going to buy stuff. You know, how about the economy, which is what you know America needs that right now. Also, you're gonna have security benefits because you know people are gonna join the army. They're gonna, you know, I'm pretty sure there's thousands of kids. You know, if they don't, if they don't want to go to college, okay, sure. And if you haven't done anything bad, then, you know, join the army. You know, join the navy, join the marines. How about the country? You know, the thing about the Dream Act is that you're helping out this country in some form. You know, you're not just going to high school, you know, and then just, okay, give them a paper so I can work. You know, you're, you're helping out America. You're becoming part of American society. You're helping the country. And also, it's going to provide a competitive academic environment. You know, many people argue, well, you know, these illegals, you know, they go to college, they're going to take up our seats. You know, many people don't know that colleges have actually dropped the number of uh, open spaces available because not, not that many, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, they, they don't receive enough applicants for it. Or they just, they accept them, but they just don't come. And also, it will provide more competitiveness. You know, people complain about this. They say, oh man, but it's going to make it more competitive. How am I going to get my son to go to college? Well, isn't that good for America to have a competitive academic environment, more competition? I mean, if you look at it, America is in competition against the world, you know? All of you right now are in competition of succeeding in college and in life against, you know, some countries, their, you know, academic lives, I mean, they basically, some of them spend their whole day in school, you know? Some of them have school in this all year long, all summer long. And you know, we're pretty lucky actually. Our education system is pretty, you know, relaxed when you compare it to other countries. So I think this would be a benefit to America too. And it's, the most important thing is that the talent won't be wasted. Many American citizens don't realize that anybody Anybody, it doesn't matter if you're legal, illegal, that's just determined if you were born in here or not. People have talents, and that's what people don't realize. And what happens a lot with these students that actually end up going to college, they're undocumented, so they can't work. What do they do? They just go to another country. Work for another country, go to Mexico, go to Canada, go to South America, or work. And they, make, and they help out their economy. So what do we do? We don't waste that talent. We want that talent for us. We want that for America. That's what we want. So, if these kids have gone through new education, education system, they've gone through learning a new language, going through a new culture, uh, not being able to, going through the hardships of growing up as an American citizen when you're really, the law tells you you're not. Growing up like this, why don't we give this people a chance, if they have gone through all of these steps, all of, they have met all the requirements, why not give them a chance to give back to America?